Hi everyone! Uh, this week I thought that I would read a couple of stories to you. Um, I was speaking with Mrs. Blackburn and her and I thought that it might be a good idea just to read a book about maybe some of the things that you're feeling. I know that yesterday I had a really horrible, terrible, no good, very bad day. And I had to think about how I was feeling so which zone I might have been in. So remember the zones green, yellow, blue, and red. And remember the feelings that we talked about associated with each zone. So I was feeling really frustrated yesterday and really angry. Nothing was going well. Um, my two girls were frustrated and it was making me really upset and sad and my dog was driving me crazy. And all of these things just kept happening that were just, seemed to me like they were just awful. And so I thought it might be a good idea to share a story with you about maybe some of those feelings that you might be having too. And what kinds of things that we can do to um, get ourselves back into the green zone or what kinds of strategies we could use to make ourselves feel better. Um, yesterday I ended up taking the dog for a walk and so that was really nice just to get outside and leave the house for a little bit and clear my head and do some deep breathing and some thinking. And then I also went for a nice long bike ride and that just made me feel so much better because it got my body moving and you know thinking about um, just something different and it made me feel good to do something good for myself and then I was able to come back and feel a whole lot better. Um, so while I'm reading the story maybe you could be thinking about times that you've felt cranky or mad or upset and some of the things that you know to do to make yourself feel better, okay? So let's start with the first one. This is part of my favorite series. It's the Little Critter connection, or Collection, and all the stories are written and illustrated by Mercer Mayer, and they're um, published by a company called Golden Books. So here's the first story that I have for you. I was so mad. I wanted to keep some frogs in the bathtub, but mom wouldn't let me. I was so mad. I wanted to play with my little sister's dollhouse, but Dad wouldn't let me. I was so mad. I wanted to play hide and seek in the clean sheets, but Grandma said, no, you can't. I was just so mad. I wanted to water the garden, but Grandpa said, no, you can't. So I decided to decorate the house, but Grandpa said, no, you can't do that either. Look at his face. Was I ever mad? Dad said, why don't you play in the sandbox? I didn't want to do that. Mom said, why don't you play on the slide? I didn't want to do that either. I was too mad. I wanted to practice my juggling show instead, but Mom said, no, you can't. I wanted to tickle the goldfish, but Mom said, leave the goldfish alone. You won't let me do anything I want to do, I said. I guess I'll run away. That's how mad I was. So I packed my wagon with my favorite toys, and I packed a bag of cookies to eat on the way. Then I walked out the front door. 
but my friends were going to play park, to the park to play ball. Can you come too? They asked. Can I go? And mom said I could. I'll run away tomorrow if I'm still so mad. So I know Little Critter had some friends to cheer him up, and sometimes during this time, that's not really possible. Um, I hope you do get a chance to touch base with your friends from time to time, either on the phone or from your iPads or um, during our Google Meets. But think about some things that you could do to make yourself feel better. Maybe it is just getting outside. Maybe it's watching your favorite television show. Maybe it's turning on some music and having a dance party. Maybe it's getting quiet in a cozy corner and reading a good book. Or doing our deep breathing that we used to practice in class. So think about some ways that you could make yourself feel good. I know it's a hard time and everyone is feeling the same way. We have good days, great days, fun days, and then some days are just terrible, horrible, no good, very bad. But that's okay, because we're in this together. Our next story, boys and girls, because it's Mother's Day, I thought I would read you a story, one of our favorite stories to read together at home. So Mommy's Little Star, and this is by Jane Bingham. It's illustrated by Rosalind Burnshaw, and it's a scholastic book. Little Fox was chasing the falling leaves. Every time he caught one, another one fell. I'm going to catch them all, he panted. It might be hard to catch every one, said Mommy Fox. There are too many. Look at all the leaves waiting to fall. Little Fox stared up at the leafy branches. There are trees full of leaves, he sang, right up high to the top of the sky. Not quite to the top, said Mommy Fox, tickling Little Fox's nose. The sky doesn't stop there. Something goes on even higher than the trees. What goes higher? asked Little Fox. Bees, said Mummy Fox. Watch them. A family of bees bumbled away over the top of the trees. Buzz, said Little Fox. I'm a bee. Buzz, 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 buzzing at the top of the sky. Does the sky stop there? Little Fox asked. Mommy Fox whisked away a noisy bumblebee. No, not there, she said. What flies higher than the bees? Do you know? Birds go higher, shouted Little Fox. And I'm a bird flying high to the top of the sky. Little Fox fell and landed with a bump. Is that the top? he asked. Does the sky stop there? Mommy Fox kissed him better. No, not there, she said. What goes higher than the birds, but only after rain? The rainbow, laughed Little Fox. Look at me now. I'm dancing on the rainbow, up above all the birds and trees and bees. Is that the top, he asked. Does the sky stop there? Mommy Fox shook her head. Something goes over the rainbow, she said. What does? asked Little Fox. Tell me, Mommy. Clouds, said Mommy Fox. The clouds float high and far. And look, they are showing us the way home. Little Fox watched the clouds drifting by. Let's follow them, he cried. And he set off running and tumbling toward the den. The sun was setting by the time they reached home. Good night, sun, said Little Fox. I know you go higher than the clouds, but you're not high now. That's true, said Mummy Fox. 
the sun is going to bed just like you. It will climb high in the sky again tomorrow. But look! Here comes the moon to shine in its place. Little Fox watched the moon brighten overhead. I can almost touch it, he said, even though it's so high. That must be the top, Little Fox said. Does the sky stop there? No, not there, said Mummy Fox. What do you think shines even higher than the moon? Little Fox looked at the twinkling sky. Stars, he laughed. The stars shine higher. He, stare, he started to count them as they turned on their lights. There are so many stars, he sighed. So many beautiful stars, agreed Mummy Fox. Little Fox yawned. So that's the top, he said. The sky stops there? Not even there, said Mummy Fox. You see, there is no top. The stars shine down from the deep, dark, quiet sky that goes on and on forever. Little Fox gazed up into the darkness. He felt warm and safe with his mummy beside him. So the sky goes on and on forever, he whispered sleepily. But where does it start? Mummy Fox hugged him closer. The sky is just like love, she said. It never ends. And it starts right here. with my own little star. And that's the end of that story, boys and girls. I hope that you have a very lovely weekend spending time with your mummy and your daddy too, maybe. And make the best of each moment together. Do your best to stay positive and Use those strategies that we talked about. Enjoy your time together. I miss you all, and I'll see you soon.